Hello and thank you for tuning in to Channel 23 News. We now have confirmation that the last whale on Earth has been killed. According to the International Whaling Commission, whales are now officially extinct. This will cause a huge blow to the ecosystem, as crew will overpopulate the world's oceans, devastating the population of phytoplankton. Consequently, krill levels will become endangered, and this main food source becomes unavailable. Next week, the World Food Program is hosting a meeting in Beijing to find a new food source, as the world plunges into extreme famine. Good afternoon and welcome to Channel 17 News. On tonight's program, we'll be covering the worldwide endangerment of whales. Whaling, which has been practiced internationally for over a thousand years, has led to whales now nearing extinction. International organizations have tried their best to prevent this with legislation such as the 1986 commercial whaling ban. Japan, the leading nation in whale farming, has not been deterred by these efforts. They merely create alternate methods to enable whale hunting. For example, by citing the use of scientific research, they can continue to distribute whale meat to the commercial market due to a law that requires no whale meat to be wasted. Sea Shepherd, an organization, has been actively stopping whaling boats by blocking their path to whale populations and by raising awareness. Marine biologists have not noticed a decline in whale deaths as they near extinction. Tomorrow, the International Whaling Commission is hosting a meeting in the UK to help prevent the extinction of whales. And now we will take you to the Olympics. Whales are creatures of the open ocean. They feed, mate, and raise their young at sea. Whales can range in size from a 2.6 meter and 100 kilogram dwarf sperm whale to the 30 meter and 173 ton giant that is the blue whale, the largest animal to have ever existed. This makes it hard to believe that these majestic creatures are still being hunted relentlessly throughout the world for their oil and meat. While Norway and Iceland both rejected the moratorium on whaling, declaring their intention to resume commercial whaling, Japanese authorities ostensibly claim that their whaling operations occurs on a scientific basis. However, this is disputed by conservationists. This is because Japan sells the whale meat obtained from these scientific hunts under a law that states no whale meat can be wasted. This has led many to believe that Japan's whaling program is little more than a thinly disguised commercial whaling operation. Some countries argue that whaling is an integral part of their culture and they should continue the practice as a tradition. However, the claims of widespread support for whaling in these countries are dubious. For example, in a recent survey we conducted, the Japanese respondents claimed that considering the fragile situation whales are currently facing, there is no reason to continue whaling unless it is completely sustainable. Many conservationists and activists have publicly voiced their concerns and acted against whaling worldwide. For example, a group called the Sea Shepherds have interfered in Japanese whale hunts numerous times in the South Pacific region. Additionally, Greenpeace has repeatedly protested against whaling operations conducted by Norway and Iceland. Despite this, whaling still continues. However, while activism like this is a worthy cause, the only way to make a lasting change is to raise awareness and educate people about the serious risks whaling poses to the marine environment as a whole. This is because currently 50% of people have minimal knowledge of whaling according to our survey. Once people are educated, we can hold rallies and sign petitions, forcing whaling nations to bow to public pressure and cease the barbaric practice that has plagued our oceans for far too long. 